welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW, AKA Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today we are making my 2021 vision board. I did this last year, I hung it right above the desk in my office and it really inspired me to stay on track and stick with my goals for the year of 2020. And we know 2020 was not a good year, but I was still able to accomplish a lot of the goals that I put on my vision board. I really liked having them front and center when I'm sitting in my office, which is a lot of the day, working away, my goals are right there in front of me. So I decided that I wanted to create a new glorious vision board for 2021. So I'm going to take you guys along with me to do the shopping for the vision board. We're going to put it together. We'll go over the goals on the vision board and you'll get to see exactly what I picked theme wise, color wise for this year's board. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me, really helps out my channel and lets me know to keep putting out this type of content for you. And if you are new to my channel or you're watching but you're not subscribed, and there's a lot of you, please take a moment and join my channel and hit the little subscribe button. And of course the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. I would love to have you be part of my community. We're a pretty fun place to be. Also make sure you're checking out the description box down below where you're going to find my custom 2021 calendar all about healthy lifestyle, fitness, self-care, weight loss, and setting some monthly goals. So definitely check that out and pick one up to start your 2021 off right. You'll also find my nutrition coaching options such as macro and calorie calculation personalized to you. Another great thing to have in your back pocket starting the new year. 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions are also available. So check that out on jenclaytonnutrition.com. You'll also find links, discount codes to my favorite things. And of course my Facebook group down in the description box. We would absolutely love to have you join our community of 17,000 plus members. It's a wonderful, warm, supportive, safe place to be. So head on over and join us. So we have a vision board to make. We have some shopping to do and I'm pretty darn excited. So let's get started. All right, we're off to the Dollar Tree. But before we go shopping for vision board supplies, I think this warrants a trip to Starbucks. I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm going to go grab a coffee and some food. So let's head to Starbucks and then we are off to the Dollar Tree. Okay, can I get the nitro cold brew with sweet cream in a grande? Yeah, a grande nitro sweet cream. Yes, okay. and a spinach and feta wrap, please. We have a nitro sweet cream cold brew and some egg bites. I'm gonna eat really quick and then we'll head in to do some shopping. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks. Citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out air for a minute yeah. Vision board products complete. You guys, I'm so excited about everything that I got. I'm going with a whole different aesthetic for this year's vision board. So when we get home, let's go over what I picked up and then we'll start creating this board, analyzing some goals, exactly what my vision is for 2021. I'm home with all of my vision board goodies. So here's kind of what I picked up, kind of what my, my vision is for my board. So I did grab the really thick board like I did last year. They do sell these thicker boards as well as just regular poster board at the Dollar Tree. Well, hello, mister. But I decided to go with the thicker board just because it worked great last year. And then I just picked up some of the permanent markers only because 
That way I have these just for the vision board. They don't last very long. I wanted black only ink and I think I only have the big fat ones at home. And then what I was thinking for the actual goals is to write them in these cute little word bubbles. So you have 17 message bubbles total. You guys can't beat this for a dollar. And then the letters that I picked out, let me show you those for my vision board. Is this not Jen fashion? These pink glittery letters do not have any numbers. So I needed numbers for 2021. And basically all I'm gonna use these for is probably the word goals, but I'm not quite sure yet. So I did pick up these black numbers as well for the 2021. And then for the border of my vision board in the teacher section was this bright pink border. And I thought that would be really cute to go around the edge here of the poster board. And then I found these silver letter stickers and I thought I could use these to title my goal, either in the word bubble, underneath, or above the word bubble, and then I could write exactly what my goal is inside, but I thought these really pretty mirrored letter stickers would be great. And then for some decoration, I decided to go with these butterflies. These butterflies are mirrored like these mirrored stickers. And the reason I chose a butterfly is because a butterfly represents growth. It starts as a moth and it grows into a beautiful butterfly. And that's what my hope is for 2021. Let's make it a better year. Let's grow in a lot of areas in my life, not just weight loss, but in life in general. So I decided to decorate this year's vision board with these butterflies. So let's get started and see if we can make my vision of my vision board come to life. So my 2021 vision board is done. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I wanted something a little more simple than last year and I really wanted to bring in pink, which is my favorite color. So I'm really excited for this. I have some great goals for 2021. Let me share with you what I'm doing for 2021. So I went ahead and numbered my goals. Goal number one is to lose 50 pounds. That was my goal last year. I have lost 50 pounds, but not in 2020. So this year I'd like to lose 50 pounds in 2021, which will put me pretty close to my goal or where I wanna be. So 50 plus pounds is my 2021 goal. Number two has to be a YouTube goal because I am here for growing my channel. This has been such a great opportunity for me to have this as a job. So I'd like to make it even more of a permanent job and grow my subscriber count to 40,000 or more why not really, really reach for the stars? Number three is a self-care goal. I wanna be able to do some type of self-care three times per week. This could be anything from having a hot cup of tea at night or giving myself a facial or using a face mask or painting my nails, just really anything that involves just taking extra good care of myself a minimum of three times a week. Goal number four is a gallon of water. I've been doing this the last few months and my skin, my body, my hair, everything is just so much better drinking a gallon of water. So I wanna bring that into 2021 and continue with a gallon or more of water every day. Goal number five is to track every day. Now I didn't give myself a goal to stay within my points or calories every day because that's not really doable. There are days that I'm going to go above points or calories. So I'm committing to myself to track my food every day, good, bad, 
or ugly. Number six is an activity goal. I would like to continue working out at Jazzercise a minimum of three times a week. Once gyms reopen here, I'm going to shoot for more than three times a week, but a minimum of intentional activity three times per week. Goal number seven is a real estate goal. I had the goal of selling 12 houses in 2020. I didn't quite reach that goal, but I am going to have a real estate goal in 2021, just a little more doable and shoot for eight houses sold in 2021. I really think I can do it, you guys. And goal number eight, my last goal for the new year is to weigh in every single week. No skipping a week because I think I might gain. Actually weighing in legitimately every single week. And of course, that goes with filming my weigh-in video for you that I post every single Friday. So my motto for 2021 is no excuse. There is no excuse that I can't reach these goals to admit she looks pretty good in my office. You can see she's on my desk in my office. So she's at a visual site for me every single day. I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. And again, you can do this really inexpensively, less than $10 from Dollar Tree. So let's recap my 2020 goals. I'll let you guys know if I reach the goals and kind of how I feel as far as my achievements for said goals for 2020. So my goal number one was to lose 50 pounds. As you know, I've lost actually 51 pounds, but that was between 2019 and 2020. I actually lost about 15 pounds in the year of 2019, which means that in 2020, I lost 35 pounds. So not quite my 50 pounds, but I'll take it. 30 pounds or 35 pounds in one year is excellent. Goal number two was to track honestly. I would say that I did this maybe 60% of the time. I definitely could have done better when it comes to honestly tracking. And it wasn't that I was dishonestly tracking. It was more that I wasn't tracking at all. Goal number three was to work out three times a week. I achieved this for the majority of the year. I would say 10 out of 12 months of the year, I committed to this goal and stuck with this goal of working out three times a week. Now in December, in the pandemic, it didn't quite go as planned, but I still got in a decent amount of working out throughout the year. Goal number four was to have four rollover points every day. I actually ixnade this goal mid 2019, just because it was important for me to reach my calories. And in order for me to do that, I could not have rollover points. Next goal was 30,000 subscribers. And I am happy, thrilled, elated to announce that two days before the end of 2020, I hit my goal of 30,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which makes me so happy. So thank you so much to every single one of my subscribers. The next goal was to sell 12 houses. Unfortunately, I didn't reach this goal, but fortunately I sold eight houses in 2020. And let's be honest with the pandemic, the real estate market slowed down a little bit in my area and I still managed to squeak out eight houses, which is amazing. My next goal was 52 weigh-ins and Ta-da, I reached this goal. I filmed 52 weigh-in videos in 2020 and I weighed in every single week for the entire year, which in my opinion is a huge accomplishment. And my last goal for 2020 was to post my weight tracker. So I was posting a weight tracker on Instagram every month. Again, I didn't quite reach this goal. I think I stopped posting my tracker in about November, not because I wasn't losing weight, but just because I got really busy and life got away from me and I just pretty much stopped posting my tracker. So I decided not to make this a goal for 2021, yet something that I would like to achieve also in 2021. Thank you for joining me on this year's 2021 vision board video. I hope that you liked seeing how I put my vision board together, going over those goals, and maybe gave you a little bit of inspiration to create a vision board of your own. If you do, make sure that you tag me, whether that's on Instagram, Facebook, or even comment on my YouTube videos, letting me know how your vision board turned out. Highly recommend the Dollar Tree. They pretty much have everything you need and you can't beat $7 to complete an entire vision board. So if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or not yet subscribed, join my community. I have tons of great content coming your way for 2021. Check out that description box for that custom calendar, nutrition coaching, links and discount codes to my favorite things. And of course, head on over and join us on my Facebook group. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.